Hi, this is Dr. Friedman. I am going to show you how to record a rock beat here in Soundtrap. So I've previously recorded some techno beat here. I've got three tracks doing a techno beat. I'm going to use the same file and I'm going to add a new track, choose some drum beats. And instead of using the default setting, I'm going to choose a kit that's a little bit more just like an acoustic drum kit. You can choose any of the ones that you like. Uh, it's completely up to you. Let's go with this 70s kit and see what that sounds like. Why not? And then I can close this window. I'm going to show you on the instrument track here uh, some of the instrument sounds we're going to use today. So we are going to record a bass drum sound on A, D is a snare drum sound and we're going to use today the ride cymbal on seven. Uh, that sounds pretty good today so we're going to use that. So those are the instruments we're going to use and let's take a look at what a rock kit beat looks like. Here is the basic rock beat and uh, just to show you where they line up. Uh, this is the cymbal part, the snare drum part, the bass drum part and as it appears on a separate staff on the stave on the on the the notation here, we're going to use separate tracks. Uh, this is so you have better control over your volume and better control over your processing. Every single instrument, every cymbal, every snare drum, every bass drum gets its own track. So what we're looking at is a bass drum pattern here on the bottom, snare drum and cymbal. It doesn't matter what you record first, uh, I'm going to record the cymbal pattern. These are just eighth notes, consecutive eighth notes, very much like the techno beat, but instead of closed and open, we're going to keep it on one um, uh, symbol. So this is the first beat lands there. This is the second beat. You see how things light up. The third beat and the fourth beat. What happens here on the f this first note lands on the beat and then halfway between on halfway between. So standard music notation we read one and two and three and four and and if you're using rhythm states we would say Utah 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 Utah. And so that's where it is. On the click is the U, halfway between is the ta. And let's uh, take a look at that and what that sounds like in Soundtrap. So I have my 70s kit. I'm going to actually skip a measure between this group of notes so that when I hit play, my techno kit will play. And now I'm going to record starting at measure 6 because I have set my net metronome to be on. I'm setting it at 75 so that I can record really accurately. I'm going to open this up. You'll notice I only have one bar count in. That seems to be enough for me. Everything looks good so far. I'm going to save my work just in case. I'm going to start again and I'm going to record that cymbal pattern. So I'm going to aim for the line here. You could use that as a guide. That might help you. Use the lines as a guide. The first note, the one and is halfway between, two and, three and, four and, or if you're using rhythm states, you, ta, you, ta, you, ta, you, ta. The you goes on the line. So I'm getting all set here. I know I'm going to use my symbol get ready to record. I'll scroll over so you can see me record. And here we go. Utah, 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 Utah. One and two and three and four and now I'm recording four bars at a time because sometimes it's just easier to take your time and record those four bars and just get that done. Um, it's just a lot easier sometimes. It's just faster than recording one measure, making it perfect, copying, pasting, all that business. So I'm going to edit. And oh, before I do anything, I have to save my work. I don't want to lose anything. So save. There we go. Edit. And I'm going to quantize. Now, they all were eighth notes, so I'm going to quantize to the eighth note. You don't know if it quantized correctly till you actually go and listen to it. Or I can take a look in the piano roll and enlarge the screen. And because my, I've got a lot going on there. Let's trim that up. I want to be nice and trimmed to four exact measures. Remember, my grid that I'm looking at is the eighth note. So because I'm looking at an eighth note, it'll be one per box right at the beginning of the box. Uh, really, eighth notes should be really quite long. Uh, for our purposes, since they're just drums, you don't have to worry about making them all that note length because it won't make a difference in how it sounds. So that's how you record the symbols in Soundtrap.